just as determined as I am to get Picasso back, I'm now determined to find this bird's owner. George? Hey guys, this is not Picasso, but after our 5 a.m. hike, literally Carolyn just left right now. She would have loved this. By the way, what an amazing heart she has, guys. Honestly, such an amazing heart. Just showing up consistently. I know you guys reached out, some of you, to have her help me and she took it seriously and I met an amazing friend because of you guys and an amazing person. Anyway, right now, going to get an Amazon that someone sent me a picture of, wondering if it's my bird. I told them it's not, but I will find the owner. Just as determined as I am to get Picasso back, I'm now determined to find this bird's owner. So don't worry, whoever you are that lost this bird, I'm gonna find you. you. Never know, things might happen for a reason. And you know, there was an Amazon on Craigslist that I was hoping to find the owner for. A lot of us are losing birds out here, guys. Okay guys, here's the update. I got the bird, but as soon as I got the bird, George drove by because he knew the address of where. Bird, I thought, bit me. Well, the bird did bite me. This is not my blood. The bird is choking on blood. The bird literally flew into, they have two homes, one house and then into their other house. So George was rushing it to hopefully take it to Lou because I trust Lou more than anything, but Lou's not in the store, so, um, we thought we were going to one vet that I had on a list, but I think we're going to the other one that Jenna used to work for. Before I even can look for this bird's owner, it's like literally choking on blood. I, I don't know what to do. I'm obviously not a vet and an emergency expert with parrots. Fortunately, this is how you learn. Um, I didn't want to give the bird any water or anything, but I think um, Lewis texted us that that might be okay to do from what I understand from George. I'm gonna find out uh, the poor birdie. It's a baby bird. He's not a baby, but all birds are babies to me. Look at these vets. They put us on hold like we don't have an emergency. My arm does hurt. It's all right. What's going on, George? Okay, he's not in here. Lol? Okay, make sure you don't touch any of our birds. Make sure he stays away. Baby, are you a little better? And make sure he's not bleeding if you give him water, like so he doesn't choke. He just pooped over here. Did he poop blood? No. Okay. Hi, Mama. Okay. You doing all right? You're getting a little cleaned up. It's okay. I'll clean him up a little bit. Do you have a band? My no baby. Band. Isn't that funny that yesterday, just yesterday, I went and got these cotton things? I just was like, I have a feeling I have to get these today. I'm trying to be really careful with them. Hi, Mama. It's okay. Baby. I'm sorry you were a little frightened when I found you. It's getting some water. Look at that. I'm sorry, Prince. I'm going to take care of you. You're going to find your owner. It's okay. It's okay now. Here. He's blocking you. It's okay. I know all about the birdies. Okay. You feel safe in there? It's okay. Okay. Let me let me look at some stuff. Hey guys. So here's the story. I'm in the room with Pastel and um, Stanley. That's my chameleon and my gecko. We're doing fine, by the way. And um, it's a little darker in here. It's quieter in here. That's going to be better for this little guy right now. I told you guys that he had some bleeding. We cleaned him up. He's looking good. I want to tell you guys, I just want to be honest with you. Um, everything that anyone would tell you to do in this situation is to rush the bird to the vet. And you should. You honestly should. But in my experience... This bird needs a little bit of time to relax because if he's bleeding internally, they're going to have to do a surgery on him and time is going to be of an essence. Most likely they're going to take your bird apart and he's probably going to come out not okay. 
and uh, most likely not live through that. I'm not saying birds can't. I'm just saying like in my experience with these things. So while we are waiting for an avian specialist that is recommended, I will not take this bird to just anyone. Instinct can be like, I have to rush the bird to the vet. And yeah, you know, like vet care is really important, especially under emergency situations. But taking your bird to just anybody can be an extremely dangerous thing. Vets too, they learn by experience. And even avian specialists, sometimes they don't even have parrots, so you need to look out for that. Sometimes your bird becomes the experiment. In this case, George cleaned him up. And by the way, he was a really timid bird, and now I got him to stand on me. So we're building some trust. In the event that he was bleeding internally, a few things need to happen. He needs to be in a darker place that's warmer. Obviously, with these guys here, you know, that's the situation. And he needs to be calm and relaxed, so I need to get him away from my birds. I also don't want my birds to interact with any bird that's been out there in the wild. So after this, I gotta make sure that I wash my hands, of course, before I interact with any of my birds. Just some advice for you guys watching, just so you learn. Um, a lot of us bird lovers have major instinct to help birds, which is amazing. You just gotta remember the proper care for it, touching your bird afterwards. I think this guy is doing a little better than I thought. He's perched on me. He feels strong. He doesn't feel leaning to one side or another, which would indicate any kind of a weakness. You little tired. Now what I've done so far is I've mixed up a little mixture of arnica, which is some natural medicine for the bird, just all natural, some cayenne pepper and some coconut water for electrolytes. The cayenne pepper is a little bit for the pain. I'm just working on giving it to him a little bit at a time so that he can get his energy back. Now, if you have a bird and he's bleeding from the mouth and you just found him, you never want to give him water because he could choke, um, which is why I didn't give him water when I got him. We just dilute all the blood and it's not a good thing. I just want to kiss him so bad. He could so bite. As you know, he bit me when I first got him, but he's flighted. So I had to kind of take action to get him in my carry-on cage right away. Hi, you like that? His eye is open over here. So even though he looks a little lethargic on that side, he's chilling on this side. So let me tell you guys something about vets that I normally wouldn't share. Vets are amazing. But sometimes the invasiveness of inexperienced vets or even vets that claim they're very experienced or even avian specialists, it's happened to me, their invasiveness could just make everything worse. As tough as birds are, they're extremely fragile under sick circumstances. So I prefer this time with him to analyze and make some decisions on my own. Some of you may disagree with that, but I've had birds since I was a kid, kid, kid. Most of the time, the vets make it worse. And don't you forget, my sister has worked for numerous vets, one of which does work with birds and actually is amazing. And that's who I'm hoping to take the bird to in the event that I need to. So I'm just here watching over him. He's perched on me. That's a really good sign. So he just drank all of the arnica, cayenne pepper, and coconut that I gave him. He wasn't gonna drink it at first, but what I did was I crushed it all up in this glass and I pretended to drink it. Once I pretended to drink it, which is my biggest secret, I offered it to him and he just downed it. So I think I'm gonna go get him some more. I feel like he came from a home with dogs. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing for the bird. First of all, this is Arnica 30C. So I'm twisting it till I get about five or six of these balls. And I gotta crush them up. I'm gonna add some cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is gonna help with pain and it's also gonna help reduce swelling. And this bird had a head trauma. I'm gonna add some 100% coconut water. This is basically electrolytes. 
and I'm gonna crush it all up. I didn't really have anything to crush it with. I'm gonna use this to crush up the little arnicas. Arnica is such a great thing to have around. I should have crushed these up before. Note to self, crush up the arnica before you add any liquid so you can see it. I'm gonna add a lot more coconut water for taste. You know, I gave it to him and he liked it. All right, now we're gonna give it to our little buddy and let him drink. What I'm gonna do is, if he doesn't wanna take it from the cup, I'm gonna pretend to drink it myself. If he was somebody's bird, that's most likely gonna work. If the bird had a head trauma, which I know he did because they told me that he went into one window and then, and then smashed into another one, there's not much a vet can do for head trauma, honestly. So let's offer him something. Hi, Mama. I'm back and I've got some more stuff to drink. Mmm. Hmm. Tasty. Last time he drank, I was holding him. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, baby. You just need a minute to see, like, what that was. Look at your little beak. See, was that good? Did it taste better last time? I can make you one like the last time. Or did you have enough? You wanna wait? Another important thing is they need to be in a nice, quiet, warm area. And if they are hemorrhaging or anything like that, you don't wanna add artificial heat. That's just gonna make them bleed more. He's not bleeding anymore, so that's a really good sign. So if he can just kind of heal from the trauma that he has, I think that'll be good. Come on, baby. Let's try this again. Mm. Do you want me to hold you? Good bird. Good bird stepping up like that. Step down. Let's now try to drink something together, okay? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, remember? You can do it. Yeah, there we go. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you thirsty. This is going to be good for you. Good. Yeah. So now he's getting some electrolytes. He's getting some arnica. And I'd much rather do this than Take him to a vet who's gonna grab him and force him under an x-ray and if he does have any bleeding, it's gonna... <sighs> bleed again and just... Don't get me wrong, some of you may have amazing, amazing vets. And I'm not downplaying that, I just think... I just have a hunch that this is the way to go with this bird. Right? Did you like that? Was that good? Potty? Okay, you want potty? That's okay. You want potty on my bed? Even though I brought all this other stuff, you want potty on my bed? But that's okay. Did you like that? Did you stop to go potty or because you, and, and you want more? Yeah, okay. And there's no blood in his stool. That's another thing to look out for. <laughs> Wait till you meet your girlfriend. <laughs> Maybe you're a girl and you're about to meet your boyfriend, Leo. This also helps with dehydration, by the way. So we're really working on quite a few things here without being invasive to the bird. Yeah. You're okay. You're okay. You want to rest a little bit? Hmm, that doesn't taste so bad.